Hi everyone, I'm Clive Watts with IAR Systems here at Embedded World in Nuremberg 2020, uh, bringing you the latest technology that we're introducing and launching at the show here today. So we're talking about a major problem that we have with the industry, which is to do with securing the IoT supply chain. So developers of IoT products, they have a major problem. A couple of key issues that we're addressing today in the, uh, this new product range is how you protect your IP, so you make a big investment in your software development, uh, and you need to make sure you get that into your manufacturing department, uh, out to external contractors, without that IP being uh, affected, influenced, stolen, modified. And the other major problem that people have is overproduction. So we have a system whereby you can ensure that when you ask your contract manufacturer to make a thousand pieces of your IoT product, they can only make a thousand pieces. So those two things are very powerful, they resonate very strongly with the customers that we're talking to here uh, as issues that they have getting their products to market and obviously maintaining their own brand uh, and preventing problems with their customers. So um, we're talking here about secure things, right? Indeed. Uh, um, so it's part of IR? So Secure Things uh, was a startup company that was founded about five years ago and was acquired by IAR Systems a couple of years ago because of the synergy between the development tools that IAR has and the security aspect, the security expertise that Secure Things brings. So that's a really powerful combination. It's kind of our unique selling point at the show here is that combination of uh, development expertise but also production security expertise. So what that's what we're looking at here, for example, uh, what is this? Yeah, is so this is an example of an application that's been developed by a developer uh, and we've moved it down and programmed it into this demo board here. Uh, we've customized it uh, and made it have a unique identity so that when it goes out into the big wide world, when it connects up onto the internet, then it has a unique place on the network and we can identify it and we can make sure it plays nicely on the internet with all the other products. So. Are you demonstrating uh, your solution? Yeah, so I can show you how the SDP works. So SDP is our secure desktop provisioner. The idea here is that in a production environment, we don't have security experts. We people have people who are trying to get a job done, people who are trying to make sure they just get their boards set up and configured and delivered uh, as the designer intended. So we have a very simple PC-based application here. Essentially what we're doing as a, as a pr production uh, d division is choosing a manufacturer. In this case, IIR Systems is the manufacturer. Choosing a product that we're programming. In this case, we're programming an NXP K66 based product. We're choosing how many parts we want to uh, program today. In this case, I'm just going to do the one piece. And uh, when we're ready, we just hit start here. Uh, and this is where we do all the security work create a, a unique identity for this device and then you'll see in a moment this device will start programming going through a sequence of operations setting up the device and making it fully secure so here you can see uh, a programming head this is actually talking to the device interacting with it uh, and eventually we finish and we can see that we've successfully provisioned and programmed up one complete part so this is really designed for prototyping for low volume production maybe doing initial production runs of 100, 200 pieces before you go to volume production later on. Is it to do with, uh, with uh, securing a proprietary software? Uh, you don't want, it's encrypted in some kind of... Yeah, so the key thing here is that once you give the designer has completed his work and the software engineers are all done, then what you need is to package all that all up, secure it, encrypt it to make sure that no one can interfere with that before it gets to production. So that's the key essence of, of the product offering that we have here it's today. It's not only to do with proprietary software, it has to do with security. Yeah, it has to do with making sure that uh, you deliver your product. You know, you, you may be designing in the US and manufacturing in China, and those are obviously geographically worlds apart, and you have to get your stuff from one place to another, but also all the different media that you might use to transmit that, they're susceptible to interception, to hacking, and we get around all of those issues with the technology that we have. You don't want to have a security uh, uh, service of a country or another interfere and put a back door yes. uh, before the product ships and then yes. suddenly to have a back door and all the different yes, things. Yes, absolutely, yes. So the key thing here is we want the designer to know that when this product goes out the door from the contract manufacturer, it has exactly the same software in it that he designed. So over here, for example, we see a bunch of boards 
Are they all arm boards maybe? Yes, so these are all arm boards. The key thing here is obviously we're working with many, many different uh, OEMs. They're using all sorts of different kind of arm based products. Some of these are from ST, some of these are from NXP, other vendors as well. And uh, obviously we have to make sure that we support all those different chip vendors. So we work very closely with the silicon providers to make sure that we are implementing the best possible security that we can on the devices that they're manufacturing. And what's this box doing? What's yeah, that's inside? A, that's a really good question. So this is our secret sauce, if you like. So this is, uh, conventionally you'd call this a hardware security module. In fact, our, our product is much more than that because it's dynamically talking to the chip when we're programming it, creating uh, unique identity, creating cryptographic features for that chip in real time. Uh, so that's our secret source. It also holds all of the OEM's information securely so that it can't be intercepted and modified by, by anybody who's trying to, to, uh, to do bad in the world. That means for this to work, you need to be uh, partners and working together with yes. companies like ST and, yes, and NXP. Absolutely. So that ecosystem is really important to us. So we're working very closely with all the major silicon makers. Clearly, they want to sell more chips into the marketplace. They know that security is an issue. Uh, clearly, we want to help them get those chips into the market and more IoT products. You know, we all know that there's been a huge promise about the rise of IoT devices in the marketplace, that there'll be 30 billion of them going out there. But that rise has been quite slow, slower than predicted. And I think much of that is down to uh, concerns about security. Uh, so we're, we're working with, with um, OEMs, we're working with the semiconductor providers, and we're working with the companies who are producing the boards, manufacturing the boards, to try and pull all those pieces together so that they form a, a secure chain. We call it a secure, secure supply chain. And uh, you perfectly connected with the whole IR ecosystem also? Yeah, absolutely. So that's a really important piece because IR has so many developers out there who are already building these systems. And we, what we wanted to do was just enable them to uh, find a way to add security in with our C-Trust product. You've probably seen that elsewhere. Uh, and then be able to take that output and move it seamlessly into production. Because that's where many competing solutions fall down. They don't enable you to do that smooth transition to production. So if you're a startup company and you're trying to learn about security, this is an absolutely excellent way to do that. Uh, we sell a, a bundled product called Inception Suite, which actually gives you everything that you need to get started with security, really with the idea of trying to get people to think about security from the inception of their product and their project. So people who, who really have no idea where to start, and you'd be quite surprised how many companies are like that, we get them a, a starter kit that will get them everything they need. And with the new Cortex uh, uh, ARM V8M, for example, yeah. are you doing stuff on, on those? Uh, that have a secure element, the, the arm truss zone and, uh, yeah. and the chip, does that help? So our, this stuff? our system is very flexible. In fact, we've just announced uh, support for truss zone in our product. So truss zone's been around for a long time. In fact, I was originally a truss zone product manager when I worked at Arm myself. So I, I know how long it goes back. Adoption has been a little bit slow because people haven't really known what to do with it. And what we're able to do now with uh, what we've launched at this show is to make it really easy for uh, developers to partition their work between the non-secure world uh, outside of Trust Zone and, and using Trust Zone to protect their really secure stuff. So we're really enabling that market of Trust Zone today. And uh, security is like the big topic of the embedder world. Yeah. Everybody wants to be more secure now. Yeah, Because they've been shipping billions of devices that are not secure. Yeah, that's absolutely true, yeah. So there hasn't really been a big incentive to build security in until recently. And I think what we're starting to see is a real tipping point in security because uh, for one thing, there's GDPR. People are having to protect uh, customers' property, uh, their data. There's also legislation coming in very strongly. For example, California's just published a new law that all IoT devices must be secure. They're kind of a bit vague about what that means, but legislation is now driving people to think about it. Uh, and there's also been a few highlight, uh, very uh, um, uh, newsworthy items where people have got into trouble, they've got fined, a company's brand has suffered, perhaps their stock price has dropped as a result. So there are many, many different incentives for, for people to get on board with security. And we're really seeing that tipping point happening now and people moving forward saying, OK, we're ready to do security. How do we do that? And uh, IAR and secure things between them are offering a great solution for that.